For the first time in more than a year, the pedestrian walkway in Liberty Village is fully accessible to residents. The elevators here are once again back up and running after a fire last fall put them out of service, making this staircase the only way up. Oh, so far. Oh, you hear that bing, you know. Mayor John Tory took the elevators for a test run this morning after a long road to repairs. I understand the frustration completely, but it's just sometimes one of those things where what can go wrong will go wrong. But here we are, it's working. City News has been following this issue since residents reached out to us more than 12 months ago. It's just sad. It's a multi-million dollar accessible bridge and half of it is not actually accessible. The pedestrian walkway took 10 years to build at a cost of $12 million, giving this bustling neighborhood a desperately needed shortcut to King Street. The bridge first opened in April of 2021 and was quickly plagued with issues. The elevator vestibules became a place for loitering and drug use. And then that November, a fire believed to be a case of arson caused significant damage. So this is the only way for people to get up? This is the only way, yeah. There's a couple landings here. In March, the city told us supply chain issues were delaying the process and the elevators would be fixed in a matter of weeks. By summer, they were still broken down. I see parents with strollers that are trying to like lug them up and down the stairs. Ultimately, people have accessibility needs and there should be an elevator working. We then took the issues straight to the mayor's office and were told that they'd be working by the end of August. That also didn't happen. Today, Mayor John Tory told me on top of supply chain issues, a contract changeover also hampered repairs. What was the hold up with these repairs? Well, like a lot of these things, and I think people have been through this in their own lives, often when they need to get something fixed, there are ones like this that just turn into a nightmare. Thanks to City TV, I mean, we, we you, you kept on us and I sort of kept on the staff and they did a great job to respond to, to get it done. Vanda, who suffered a herniated disc last year and was unable to climb the four flights of stairs to the bridge for a few months, was the first to reach out to City News and today got a one-on-one -on -one with the mayor. It's just a, a huge route for us to take and it's important. A lot of people on this side are cut off. It's like a little island. You know, it's just nice to have this finally open after a full year because, you know, they've they've been down longer than the bridge was actually open for. <laughs> In Liberty Village, Shauna Hunt City News.